Hello, thank you for joining me. So this film this is our film number six in our series, How to uh, Use Photo View uh, 360, in regard to our door assignment from last week. And uh, what I've done in the interim, and I would suggest you do this too, it's part of the, the process, is uh, go through some of the settings, additional settings, in order to make uh, everything look the way you like. So, as I mentioned before, uh, the, what you see in SolidWorks is not necessarily what you're going to get when you get to Photo uh, View. But uh, there's some things you might want to make adjustments to as you proceed along with this in order to make uh, Photo View 360 actually come out looking right. One of the same, uh, things I changed, let me show you some of the some of the settings I did change before we go into cameras. I went to Edit Scene up here, and I took my background and it just made it a little bit less uh, bright. I think it made it, uh, you know, it, it helped enhance the way it looked. I kind of, went in, kind of wanted to make it look kind of like a night scene or an evening scene in this. So I took my illumination uh, and reduced it down. So my background brightness, this is for SolidWorks, it's at that setting. But my rendering brightness, which is at the same setting, uh, is what it's going to appear like when it gets uh, to rendering. And then scene re reflectivity uh, depends all you want in that. Uh, you can make adjustments to that. So that adjusts uh, the background and makes the background a little bit darker when it comes to rendering. Uh, the individual lights. Uh, if you want to edit uh, that specific light, remember you go to Photo View, and I would suggest going in here and uh, adjusting some of these settings. But also make sure that uh, your shadows are on, because that adds a little bit of realism to that too. Before we didn't have shadows around the door of the knob, but now we do, now that we've set those uh, settings. So we can make those a little bit uh, you know, bigger or smaller, whatever, whatever you like. And I'm not certain what shadow quality is. Uh, there seems to be 16 and 1, but kind of goes up quite a ways and down quite a ways too. So let's go ahead and go to the green check mark, show you ultimately what this looks like. And no, I don't want to take that survey. Gosh darn it. So ultimately it's going to look like this, and um, now the door is a little bit far away. And uh, we need, need to scoot in on that door in order to get this to work right. But um, as we mentioned before, one thing to note is going to be the doorknob. Now you will see some shadows in that doorknob, which show you where the, the red light is and where the, the blue light is, if you can see that. So you can see the lights coming off of different directions and the spotlight. So let's get it really close. I think that's looking uh, pretty darn sharp except for the proximity of the door, where the door is going to be. Cameras. Let's talk about cameras a little bit. Let's add a camera, and what it does is it splits your screen here a little bit, shows you the camera on one side and where that camera is going to be, which is over here, and it shows you the result of the camera over here. So if we were to take that camera and move that camera around, we can do that. Let's do this. Before we get into the camera, uh, we're going to go ahead and save that camera, of course, and we'll go back and edit it. Now that camera is part of the feature, just like it does in the feature manager tree. This is our display manager tree, in a way. Let's go ahead and turn off our lights. We're not turn them off. Let's not show those lights so it doesn't get in the way of the camera. Right click in the camera. Let's uh, go ahead and edit that camera where that camera is going to be. So here's our camera. And let's say we want to take our camera and uh, maybe position it right on the ED and I logo, or maybe a little bit above that. But what I like to do with this camera is kind of show you uh, how to how to manipulate that camera to kind of give you like a maybe dog's eye view sort of thing. So that's from the right view. I want to make sure my camera's in the front perspective. So kind of like that. So this is what you're going to see over here when you do the camera, and you can position uh, the target by selection. So the target by selection, we can just click on the door itself. And I'll put that red dot right on that door, and it'll stay with that door. And position by selection, too. If you had something over here, like maybe a tripod set up or a table or something like that, you want to put your camera on, you can do that over there, too. And a bunch of other uh, you know, settings over here, too. Dozens and dozens of them. Don't have time to get into them. But this is uh, fairly good for what we want. So what we want to do is we want to show... Uh, go to the camera view on this and this shows you what, the, what it's going to look, look like in the camera. So now we can take a rendering of this uh, perspective here and see what that looks like. So there's just like one, one more uh, option. So we're going to go to final rendering and what it does is it gives us a really quick preview. Now we want to adjust our, uh, our camera position so we don't necessarily have to go through all this but adjust the camera position so it all gets into, into view here before we go through all the rendering. So the nice thing about this preview, it gives you a really quick snapshot of what you're likely going to get. And if you don't like it, you can always make adjustments to it right away without having to go through the whole iterative process or having to wait for the whole thing to render. 
So, a lot of different uh, options here. What I'd like to do next is kind of show you how to go through the photo view options, and then uh, that'll be it. That'll be it for this uh, video series. So join me later.